For Gina Mongol, swimming is a stress reliever. It's relaxing, it's great cardio, and it's fun. And with the cooler weather, Gina, like most USC students, will be swimming here inside the Strom Thurmond Fitness Center. But swimming indoors may not be something to relax about. I smell very strong chlorine. It just makes me think that the pool would be very clean because of how strong it is. They put all the chemicals in there. Though chlorine can serve some great purposes like disinfecting this bottle of water, there's one main difference between the water in this bottle and the water I'm in. This bottle of water won't have a human body in it. A new study released by the National Pool Foundation says that chlorinated water is clean and safe in correct doses. But when germ particles ranging from sweat and makeup to fecal matter come into contact with the chlorine, they're killed within a half a second. But what they form is called chloramines, which give off that horrible smell that you notice when you walk into an indoor pool. McGee Moody, the head coach of the women's swim team, says that these particles do raise some concerns, but he isn't sure what a better alternative would be. There's different things that they can use, um, sand filters, stuff like that. However, obviously the downside of using a chlorine or a bromine is the bottom line is it's a chemical. The major health concern is breathing and ingesting these particles, which have been linked to bladder cancer, asthma, and in severe cases, brain swelling resulting in death. But Moody says until there's another solution, swimming in well-ventilated pools and showering before taking a dive are swimmers' best option. I've never showered before mm -hmm. the pool, and when I see the sign, I'm like, what the heck, <laughs> I don't listen to this, but I think now I'll take a little bit more precaution because it really means the truth, like shower before so you don't get really sick. For Carolina News, I'm Katie Gear.